So what we've got going on now, we're going to try and cut a circle around there. Now, if I'm honest, we've never cut a circle around anything before, Brad, have we? But we're trying to up our game and, and improve all the time. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We've got the, bought those dividers and a couple of other bits and pieces. So, let's see what we can do and, and see what, how, how far we can get with it. And, yeah, we'll, we'll show you. Right, so let me just show you what we've done and how we've done this so far. So, what we've done, look, we laid this slab in dry with the joints and everything that we require. And then what I've done off camera is I've got the centre point of the actual circle. So while we've done that, <clears throat> I found the centre point of the circle because on the actual top of the gully, there's like a little dot. Um, you'll have to show you off camera. There's like a little dot on it, which, which dictates the centre point of that circle. I've checked it with the dividers and it's right. So what I've done that is I've just carried that line through there on the centre point and I've struck a line there and I put a plumb line up the wall there. I don't know if you can you see it Brad, you can zoom in or? Zoom in, yeah we got him. Yeah, see this plumb line up the wall here and this line here. So I've struck that line coming this way and I've done exactly the same. If you come round here over my shoulder, there's another line on the wall on that perp in there, look on the end of the level. And there's another line, you'd have to come round here though. There's another line on there, and that dictates the line going at a right angle to the first line. So now we've got our cross, which dictates the centre point. So bought these dividers. So there's the dividers. Look, a normal compass probably wouldn't go, you know, as wide as what you want it. And I just moved that now, haven't I? Don't matter. I've done it now. So what I've done is I put that on there. I've eyed it down, and I've just put a line around with the compass or the dividers to exactly where I want it to go. And the beauty of this is we've got this still exposed now. So as I'm looking down here, I can see that that line or that curved circle that I've put on there is spot on. So I think what we'll do, we'll cut this one in to where it's got to go. We'll put that one on top of there. We know that's right. We'll put our line straight on top again, our compass straight on top again, draw the lines, we've got the two cuts, and then we're going to try and attempt to uh, either cock it all up with cutting it or cut it and do a really good job. So, yeah, that's it for now. Right, so we got this cut in now, look. So we're on the centre point. So it's just simple. Mark that through there like that. matches up in there all nice and neat and tidy so that's that what we'll do now off camera we'll bore you we'll just get a sharpie and we'll just put draw a permanent line on there so what we're going to do next is uh something we've never done before brad isn't it we're going to cut there we're going to cut it so <laughs> i don't know whether we're going to do it right so we'll give it a go we're trying to improve so yeah any tips you've got on cutting circles and you guys are doing it because I know there's plenty of people out there that are that are better than us, obviously, and been doing this for a long time. We haven't, so leave them in the comments below and uh, try and help us out a little bit. Or if you can send me a video or a link or, or anything like that that you've got, then uh, be much appreciated. So that's the way so far we've got it, and uh, let's get it all transferred over to the cutting station and carry on, is it? Yeah, let's do it. Got my PPE, got my mask, I got my uh, ear defenders. I can't wear the goggles, I've tried to put them on, they're on the wall up there, but they're steaming up. So if anybody puts them in the comments, do what you want, because I can't bloody wear them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the blade on there like that, and I'm just going to go around like that and follow myself around. So again, if anybody's got any better ideas, leave them in the comments below. But we're either going to be, uh, we're either going to do a really good job or a crap job. So let's get on with it. I'm a bit nervous, Brad, to be honest with you. It'll be fine. In fact, I'm shitting myself. It'll be fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go just inside the line so we can trim that when I finish. So if I finish. Oh, 
Right, so that's the, that's the shape of it. So all I've got to do now, say all, i just got to go through. What I could do, I could cut lines and go right the way down like that, which was what I'd normally do, and then trim it off. So we might revert back to that, but let's give this a go and see how far we get. Right, we'll carry on like this. You can see the gist of it. We'll carry on like this and then we'll show you how we get on in a minute. So you can see how, get a close up on that there, look Brad. You can see how far we cut into that. We'll get a close up on that. See the edge of the blade there starting to take a pounding. It's because I'm putting it all on the one side. So I think because this is 20 mil porcelain, then if it was like a normal internal porcelain, like a five mil you'd use in a bathroom, I'd have been through there by now, twice, but uh, it's taking a kick in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of lines down there, try and snap that off and then tidy it up. So, wish me luck. Bloody radio things all over me, Brad. So that's the idea we got with that. What I'm going to do now, I don't watch that. What I'm going to do now, I'll tidy that up. So, again, without boring you, showing you the whole thing, I'll go through with the, with the Dewalt, with the other Dewalt now, go right the way around, take that off. And then it's just a matter of uh, trimming the edge, Brad, isn't it? Mm. So, wish us luck. We put this on the end of the machine now. This is basically just called a diamond raker. So if you just Google on Henry's website, Elite Stone Tools, not the way associated with them, but this is where we've got this from. Uh, we've never used one before. So a diamond raker, and basically this does this, we'll show you. So, you can see what that is. So what I'm doing now is I'm just tidying all that up all the way around. When I started at the beginning, I stayed just off that line, so I didn't want the line to disappear. So I just do that now all the way around, cut in right tight to the line, and it should have a perfect circle on it. So it's going good, Brad, isn't it? Mm. There we are. Raker on it now. You can see now I've gone right to the line, nice and neat and tidy all the way around. The only thing we haven't got is like a, a filing pad. We just haven't got one with us. <clears throat> so we're going to use some sandpaper and just get all these bits off around where it's chipped ever so slightly with a raker but we'll we'll try our best to get rid of them just go like that it's a bit of a fine sandpaper brad isn't it mm. we'll sort that but i'm pretty happy with that i think we can get, if we can get the other one the same as that and we can get it all to fit and all look nice i'll be uh, a really happy man to uh, to have achieved something new 
different today, isn't it? Mm. So this is what it's all about. So we'll try it in there now and we'll show you. So round one. So that cuts in, look, you can see. Well, that's absolutely spot on, so I'm well happy. But it's not over yet, because we've got the biggest one to do now, Brad, haven't we? And that took us around about 30 minutes to actually cut that, mm. isn't it? 30 minutes of cutting, filing with the raker, and then we had to the, uh, sand all the uh, the little spores off and the little bits, the little bits that are fragmented on it. So, yeah, it's in. So 30 minutes. The other one's going to take about the same, I would have thought. So you're looking like an hour, hour and 15 minutes to cut that. So you can see that when you price for porcelain, for you professionals out there, that uh, you've got to charge more, haven't you? Because you're spending a lot more time doing these things. So there we are. We'll get the other one cut now and show you what uh, how, how we progress with that one. Fingers crossed again. Do you want to do one more, Brad? One more cut? One more towards I the can't. end, yeah. What, a battery? Oh, you? Yeah. All oh, right. It's a lot bigger now. So we've got to tap these off now. What song yeah, was yeah. that, Just? Pardon? What song was that? It's like playing a bloody piano, Brad, isn't it? Mm. You know, we could have played, uh, I don't know any classical music, we could have played a bit of Mozart or a bit of Bach then, couldn't we? Anyway, we'll tidy that up now with a combination of the mini disc cutter and our little raker. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what it looks like at the end. What we've done, a little top tip for you as well. Where's it gone now? Didn't have any of those um, diamond filing pads. So what I've used, I've used a bit of sandpaper and it was too fine. So this is just a, like a, a carborundum stone. We use this to clean our tools off. So, okay, I've worn it down a little bit, but the 10 a penny. So we've just put down a bit of water and we use this to go around it. And it's done exactly the same job, isn't it? Mm. So I think when you, when you run out of stuff and you haven't got what you need, there's always something in your toolbox that you can use to get the job done, mate, isn't it? Mm. So if this is get, if we do this now, I'm going to be really happy. I might even do a little, a little dance, Brad. So we're going to do this. Come back to us in a minute. You see what I'm doing now? I'm just going to go round and I'm going to do that. I'm going to get that a little bit closer than I did on the previous one. So when we use the raker, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot easier. So we'll just get that done all the way around without boring you. We'll show you at the end. Top tip for you if you're going to do it. Get your knee out like that. Get a nice little stance going on. Rest your hand or your arm on your knee. So you've got control over the disc with the handle but your hand is resting on something it's almost like a workbench so that when you press it you've got full control you can swivel your body off resting on it if you're just like this your back's bending over it's like a crane and you haven't got as much control over the disc cutter because your arm's just all over the place so there we are top to two so we managed to do that now um you get the raker on it now and we'll just tidy up all these little ends 
get that nice and smooth. We'll get the uh, carborundum stone on it, file that off, put it on. Do you reckon it's all going to work out nice? I reckon it's going to be sweet as a nut. If it's sweet as a nut, I'll buy you a bag of chips. Oh no, you're going to buy me a bag of chips today, aren't you? My round today. There we are. If it's sweet as a nut, he's going to buy me a bag of chips. There we are. Let's get the rake in done then, and then uh, what we'll do, we'll get this rake off, all smoothed out now, and we'll show you what that's like when we've done that. Right, so I just used the carborundum stone on it now. There's a little bit by here, look, which you'll have to come back to when it's laid. But overall, once that's laid and you're looking down on it, you're never going to see any fragmentation apart from a little bit. So there we are, we've cut it. Now we'll take you over and show you if it fits. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm really pleased. So. We've cut that out. Give him a good show of that, Brad. Never mind my ugly round face. What's more round, my face or that? Oh, a nice little circle we've got oh, going. a nice little circle. I'm really pleased with that. So what we'll do, we'll lay these two slabs. Now, they've only, they've only been put in dry. So we'll lay them. Once they're laid, we'll show you the final finish of it. I might stay here all night, actually, Brad, and just keep stroking it and sleep next to it, because I'm, I'm really happy with that. It's the first time we've ever done that, isn't it, mate? Hopefully, a nice big so, rat comes at the bottom of it, yeah, and has it written a face. <laughs> seen a load of other people catching it on YouTube and stuff. People who are a bit more further down the road than what we are, I, I suppose. But um, for us, I'm really pleased with that. So we'll get it laid and we'll show you what it looks like when it's in. There it is, all laid. Job done. So, I don't think I can emphasize how pleased I am with that. Well happy with it. So yeah, if you're doing yours, then uh, obviously we've, oh, well, hopefully we've managed to help you out. But again, if you can leave any comments below that we did anything wrong, or you think you can help us or assist us with tools or blades or the way of doing it, then uh, let us know. Other than that, then uh, please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Cheers.